Okie dokie everybody, welcome to me versus Hogwarts, my name's Daniel, and yes, the reason I'm on here is a uh, very very short version, um, there has been a problem with Ark recently, um, the last episode I recorded of Ark, literally at the end it came up with a message saying about the uh, save error, um, I lost about half an hour of that video, and two weeks later there still hasn't been a patch for it so the last thing I want to do is sit here record two hours and then find out I'm gonna lose some of it I haven't done anything on arc really that's of any note so uh, until the uh, patch slash update comes out I need to find something else to do so uh, here we are um, it's another it's another one another game that I've sort of been working on in the background. Um, I bought it for Christmas. Yeah, I bought it for Christmas. So, um... I've done it a little bit. I've left one character spot open. Just for us guys. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to play through the final uh, story with you guys and the other three I'll just work on as, um, as I have already been doing. <coughs> yeah, so I'll just leave that up on the screen for a few seconds and we shall start because there's a bit of a character creation to do first. Basically, all I need to do. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. <coughs> Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Silly cutscenes at the start of this game, it's ridiculous. We'll talk again in about ten minutes. Good. 
and skip most of it, but it's cool. I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume... That she had to get rid of it quickly, to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. H how did you... Wait! We do not know. Hang on! Are you all right? Uh, uh, You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? George, I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. 
We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay, we can move. <coughs> How do I use... Really annoying. I've played this a couple of times now. You know, run ahead. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Yes, if you wanted to, you could run Mind ahead of all this. Step. But all of the conversation that he has with you, you still have to listen to before you get access to the next bit before you can move on. <coughs> yeah, so uh it's either walk really slowly behind him, run really fast behind him, or just run ahead and just Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. <laughs> Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! Mm -hmm. Great. Fantastic. Always break these. Is that you? a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your wand works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Now it's just ahead. Steady yourself. Reparo. there before you run away there is another chest here <coughs> a little Easter egg Yeah. <laughs> 
Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor V! Odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the portkey container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. What was that other channel to? Green Heart's back. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Your wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many vaults are there in Gringotts? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it. These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. 
momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. The glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. So there's a chest just outside with some more money in it. Don't forget to do that before we go through this door because we can't get back this way. <coughs> I missed it the first time around. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Good luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Basically, you just follow the the um, symbol round and push the red button. When you push the button, you get a tiny, tiny little boost. And if you don't hit all of them, there's a chance that you fail the. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Once you've done that first um, proper cast, you don't need to worry about doing it like that again. A... a door? Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Rebellion. It was at this point that I went like this and then found that chest the first time around. Um. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. Rebellion. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor.
Revelio. Maybe not. I thought there was a chest in here. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Um, just so you're aware, these shapes get more difficult, and then they change the buttons as well. So this is one of our equipable spells, <coughs> which brings up that little sort of diamond shape in the bottom right. So you're now four spells at a time equipped into that slot, which then represents the four buttons on the left, sorry, right hand side of the controller. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Revelio. Professor? Professor Fig? Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. They're leading me. That glow again. Revelio. Yeah, so any idea where I'm supposed to go? Any ideas? Can't find it. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Hmm. 
It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Potato, stupefy! Stupefy! More cutscenes. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know, but I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead. Place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. 
The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Where is here, I wonder? Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. 
I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Conveniently, there are four options here. And I'm pretty sure if you hit one of these, you'll get... Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. An eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Then, it can't with this, you can either accept the house, or you can just choose the one that you want. And you've a ready mind. Quick to learn. That's the only one I haven't done, so... You belong in Ravenclaw! This part of the game, all it does is just change the colour of your clothing. Each house does have a separate storyline. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said 
I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw Common Room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Revelio. Revelio is going to be the most annoying noise we're going to hear the entire time once we get outside of the castle. Oh. That's just <laughs> brilliant. This should be interesting. Brilliant. You think you could? Ah, that is not how that. One moment. Watch this. Someone threw a dumb box. <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here, ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. So, whichever house you pick, there's different. Starting All right. in the fifth. normally three people you need to talk to before you can do the next bit. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. It sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things 
you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Revelio. I'm not sure this is the right spot. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwild potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about Wiganwild potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wig and Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you, too, on your first day. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Uh, Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. If you'd best not keep her waiting. morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. Short version. All of the collectibles. This way. All the things you need to complete. It's inside that book. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. It's just a couple of collectibles in the game. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? So, every time you find one of these, it will say something similar to this based on what. Finding. And there's stuff in all of these. Eventually, you'll unlock. Thank you. Those bits of 
Easier than that. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. I'm trying to, but you're slowing way down. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. I adore the hustle and bustle of... You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I tried to... That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare... Aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Just when you thought there wasn't enough talking. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but... I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. 
It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the Field Guides map? Unfold it and have a look. How to set a waypoint. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Excellent. We're now free to do whatever it is that we please. Um, if you push up on the D-pad, it does this enchantment so you can track it without having to look at the map. We're going to see who can stay up the latest. Keeping's arm stood in sheer by victory. Somebody's not there. I've taken to studying during the day in our So these pages that are flying around, uh, you need to go to uh, I think it's Charms class to actually get hold of the spell, you need to get hold of those. You have these random doors all over the castle, which involves you doing a bit of maths. And if you don't know what the equation is to do the maths, um, it can be a little bit complicated. Um, and I did struggle the first few times trying to work it out on my own. Um, but the clue is that there are ten symbols. <laughs> um, I might just do these as like a little, little separate video at some point. I'll leave that one for now. Behind each one of those doors, there's a um, there's at least a set of chests, a collectible chest, and a piece of clothing. Not sure he's in at the present moment. be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. That's what I meant by the shapes get a little bit more complicated. Let me 
Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso. good, well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. You're good. How perceptive. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Good form. I know. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. <laughs> Rather good at this, aren't you? Let's... Class, I hope you were paying attention. That is how you cast this Levioso. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. <laughs> he died. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is just- Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. I knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. This place is really difficult to kind of navigate to get used to it. And even when you do get used to it. 
moves to it. It's still difficult. Let's go up, let's go down, let's go left, go right. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. I sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now, now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed for partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get the other place now. Akio! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just arrive on Miss O'Neill here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them to... Splendid! Excellent control there. That's it! Don't lose your compose. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. 
Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Here we go! Yes! Akio! Be sharp. There we go. Watch. Stay focused. Let us see this. That is how it's done. Back here. I think I've already fully completed this properly. Quite once. impressive. I've won uh, four times. It doesn't make any difference whether you win or lose. Just black and white. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Execution. Here we go. There we go. Very good. That is how it's done. I Do not think I will start going easy on you now. A perfect score. Remarkable. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. 
And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use a word words, if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hello. How was your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. So that's slightly different because you're a Ravenclaw. Um, basically, all the characters that you meet, you meet anyway. But the three that you talk to in your house, you basically have a slightly different dialogue the second time you speak to them. It's only ever so slightly different. Instead of, hi, how are you, or who are you, it's, I know your name, conversations. Um... Things like that. It's not that much drastic, not much different. Uh, we probably need to go down there, don't we? Side quests are now available. Yay! As if there's not hundreds of those to do. Get to play with the key cats. More talking. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. 
In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Revelio. You will eventually get um, Alohomora to unlock all the doors. Three levels of Alohomora. There's a whole separate side Revelio. quest thing to get them all. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed, I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that the mending charm Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Very difficult task. Back here. Got it. Grabbing that. A flying page must be around here somewhere. I can actually hit it. Brilliant. Q. It's a very difficult task. Made that look a lot more difficult. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. So this is a slightly more difficult one because you've got the X in there as well. Eventually, you get all four buttons to press. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized Rebellion. heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. There'll be a number of these statues wandering around. Well, not 
wandering around, but around the place. Uh, you can use Levioso. Levioso on them. And then it will drop a field glass page. Revelio. Hogsmeade. Let's get to Hogsmeade. We can do that. Um, so yeah, the important thing to know about the main story quests is all the main story quests will either give you a spell or you'll need the next level of spell to um, to progress. Um, we'll find out why we need Reparo in a minute. But um, most of the time it's locked behind a, a spell that you can't actually unlock. So you can't actually get without um, unlocking. found a new piece of item, blah 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 blah. Great, that's gone. What else have we got? Thought I did it wise. Now we can have a look at all the collections. So these are all the potions that are available. These are all the enemies. Clothing. Valio pages from Hogsmeade, Hogwarts, as in just the castle, and then the Highlands. So, walking around and pressing the Valio, whenever you'd find those, I've just done those great. Don't stop doing something. Uh, these are all creatures that you can find later on. All the different broomsticks, all the ingredients. All the items that you can eventually put in a certain place. These are all the different wand handles that you can access later on once you've got your own wand. And these are all things you can put onto your armor eventually. After completing your challenges, so we've now completed that one, these will unlock. You need to come to this page to actually unlock, to claim those rewards. Uh, sometimes it's just a look of, say, a piece of armor. Um, sometimes it is actual armor. Sometimes it's something else relevant to the... Uh, We're here. So, walk up to the door, and it will always say um, X if you haven't completed it, or whatever button that is relevant to on your relevant platform. I so say the numbers go from zero on the left hand side over the top of the door to nine on the bottom. There are some sort of indications you've got three for a three headed Hydra. Uh, the spider is eight, because it's got eight legs, things like that, gives you an idea of how to work it out. There is a cheat sheet somewhere in one of the rooms, um, I've not found it, personally. Um, I didn't need to. So, 
maths. Maths is hard sometimes. 11 plus 2 is 13 plus 8. So you go to this one. It should be a spider. That completes the first one. 9 plus Is 14, 3. So let's recap Hydra. I reckon Eight, Sebastian fine. did not expect such a sound defeat in defense Rebellion. against the Dark Arts. The other one is. So you can do Rebellio and find it out there. Just when I think I've learned how to get around the castle, a staircase. Have you ever seen a professor outside the castle? I find it jarring. Should. That's correct. That's all. So there'll be a chest like this, which is now giving us a piece of armor. And this big collection chest. All the collection chests look like that. Uh, okay. Now I can equip this and show you what I wanted to show you. So all of your armor. Go over the top of it and it will say change appearance. So you can make it look like anything else that you've unlocked. Or you can just hide the visual. And if you wanted to, you could wear it with the hood on or off. Also got this type of collectible. Broomsticks are going out of style. There's something in there. I just Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh hello, I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on Lumos. something illuminating that solves the mystery. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. She just said illuminating. There's your clue. This looks like the location from the painting. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. The only reason I'm showing you these now is I'm probably going to do. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell them that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Talking through. Because each time you do that, you get 80. Don't know about How is Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I can see that. Wonder how well I'll Oh dear. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. 
My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio! Got it. Only four more to go. Rebellion. You learn very, very quickly there is stuff all over the place. Lumos. Like another one of these. So the annoying thing about the um, paintings is you can't actually find them off without activating them, the, um, the painting first. It disappears if it's not there. So the chances are I'm probably going to do a few of these behind the scenes just because I know I'm going to need some more levels as quickly as I can get them. I think I'll probably stay inside the castle until I record the next episode. Akio. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Revelio. Rebellion. Okay, I think what I might just do, I'm going to probably end it here. Um, what's that? An hour and 45 minutes. That's probably a good start. Because the next thing I need to do is going to take a bit more time. Um, yeah, the next time I do a recording of this, we'll go to um, Hogsmeade, which is it's a big old, big old place there. Big old place. So, um, yes, yeah, so I shall, uh, 
go and do that in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching this today. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to post this onto YouTube, but I will do that at some point. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. I will see you in the next episode that I record. Hopefully, before too long, they'll sort out some other games that I need to play. But anyway, I will see you when I see you next. Take it easy, guys. Enjoy your weekend.